12 hidden waterfalls in Jamaica that will take your breath away. There is more to Jamaica than excellent food, top-notch beaches and vibrant nightlife. The island's lush mountainous interior and ample rainfall create the essential ingredients for our magnificent waterfalls. Most people know about the popular ones like Dunn's River Falls and Mayfield's Falls, but there are others that are not as popular but just as stunning. In this video, we will take a peek at 12 of Jamaica's hidden waterfalls. Welcome back to Elite Jamaica, the place you come to learn about Jamaica and Jamaicans. I am Alex, and if it's your first time here, consider subscribing to the channel, and remember to turn on notifications so you never miss an update. For today's question, where is the oldest golf club in Jamaica? Answer this question correctly and your answer will be posted in my next video. With that said, let's move right along. Number 1. Taki Falls Sitting close to Jamaica's north coast in the parish of St. Mary, Taki Falls is a stunning 200-foot high waterfall in the middle of the jungle. It is the most non-commercialized waterfall on the island, and it's very likely that if you make it there, you'll be alone for the day. Be prepared for a hike to get to this out-of-the-way waterfall. There are no signs, no footpath, and many hazards along the way, but in the end, you will be rewarded with the magnificent Taki Falls. Number 2. Cane River Falls Sitting just 9 miles outside of Kingston, Cane River Falls is a hidden gem, located behind the local Bull Bay community. This secluded waterfall was frequented by the great Bob Molly, who would go there to wash his dreadlocks. Cane River Falls is more popular among locals than it is amongst tourists making it a great place to relax, chill out, and swim with the local community. Number 3. Maho Falls Maho Falls sits in the parish of St. Mary, within the Cuyaba River Gardens. Its name is said to have been derived from the word mahogany, which you'll see growing in the area if you ever get a chance to visit. The sparkling pools of the falls are perfect for a cool refreshing swim, but many visitors choose to relax and enjoy the views from its various vantage points. The panoramic views of Ocho Rios and the Caribbean Sea are simply breathtaking. Number 4. Scatter Falls Scatter Falls are among the least spoken about waterfalls in Jamaica. It is a jewel of eastern Jamaica, sitting in the Rio Grande Valley in the small Berrydale community. On occasion, some adventurous tourists will find their way to the falls, but it is predominantly visited by locals. To get here, one of the friendly tour guides from the Berrydale community will have to take you across the Rio Grande on a bamboo raft. Number 5. Turtle River Falls Turtle River Falls is a combination of 14 cascading waterfalls on the Turtle River. They are located on a 15-acre tropical garden located in Ocho Rios called Turtle River Falls and the Gardens. In the garden, you'll find an abundance of exotic birds and indigenous plants. It is an enchanting setting that is surrounded by stunning scenery. Here, you can swim in the various pools at the foot of the waterfalls, climb the waterfalls, and have an adventure stroll through the exquisite botanical gardens. Number 6. Reggae Falls 
Hidden in the parish of St. Thomas is an old water dam that is now known as the Reggae Falls. You'll need a vehicle with four-wheel drive to get to this waterfall as you'll have to drive across a part of the river which is about 3 feet deep. The fall is about 30 feet so the water comes down with just about the right force for a good neck and back massage. And for the adventurous ones in the group, there is a rock that is about 10 feet high that you can jump from into the pool at the foot of the falls. Number 7. Reach Falls The Reach Falls is located in the mountain forest on the Jankra mountain range. It is about 45 minutes east of Portland. It is fed by the Drivers River and is surrounded by lush greenery from the mountain forest. Here you will find over 23 species of birds, a variety of exotic birds and if you are lucky, you will catch a rare glimpse of a wild pig in its natural habitat. Number 8. Nanny Falls Located near to Moore Town in Portland is another of Jamaica's hidden gems known as Nanny Falls. To get here, be prepared for a 30 to 45 minute hike from Moore Town. But once you arrive, you'll see that it's well worth it. Once you arrive from your trek, you'll want to do nothing but jump into the refreshingly cool pool of water at the foot of the falls. Expect to have a peaceful relaxing day to yourself as it is rare that tourists come here. Number 9. Kwame Falls Tucked away in the deep woods of St. Mary, you'll find Kwame Falls. To get here, your journey will start at a small village called Robins Bay, which is not too far from the more popular Anato Bay. You'll have to hike through a path that is reserved for donkeys and ATVs. Once there, you can take a swim in the cold but extremely refreshing water at the bottom of the falls. Number 10. Konoko Falls Located in the parish of St. Anne is the Konoko Falls. It is 5 minutes drive out of Ocherius at the Shaw Park Estate. This waterfall is a sight to behold. It is perfect for climbing and definitely gives reason why St. Anne is known as the Garden Parish. There is also a museum on site with artifacts, maps and pictures of the Taino Indians who chose this location as a settlement site and were the original inhabitants of Jamaica. Number 11 Bowden Hill Waterfall The Bowden Hill Waterfall, also known as the Fallen Edge Falls, is located in Stone Hill, Jamaica. As with most of the other falls on this list, expect a hike to get there. Except with this one, the trail has heavy overgrowth. It is located near the Hermitage Dam, which supplies most of Jamaica's capital Kingston and some suburbs with water. Number 12. Mountain River Cave and the Falls The Mountain River Cave is located in the Kojo Hill, St. Catherine. The cave itself is about 115 feet long and 35 feet deep. Inside, you'll find some well-preserved pictographs from early settlers depicting birds, fish, turtles and figurative art. These pictographs date back to more than a thousand years. People speculate that the early settlers, the Taino Indians, used this place as a place of worship and once you go here, the feeling of tranquility and humbleness will only support the speculations. So there you go guys, those are the top 12 most hidden waterfalls in Jamaica. Did I leave anything out? Do you want to share hidden gems that you have found yourself? You can do so by leaving a comment down below. And until then, 
don't forget to remember to subscribe to Elite Jamaica and click the notification icon so you never miss an update.
Welcome to one of Jamaica's best kept secrets, the idyllic Port Antonio, with its beautiful laid back town, giving you an authentic Jamaican feel. Tucked away on the eastern point of the island, Port Antonio is still relatively unknown by most tourists, but it has for years been the hideaway for royalties and stars alike. The soft white sand beaches of Port Antonio are regarded as Jamaica's finest. You can't escape the backdrop of the Blue Mountains and lush tropical rainforests tucked away in the hills. Port Antonio is a place where a part of it stays with you forever. On your trip to Port Antonio, we'll take you to the Somerset Falls, located within a lush botanical garden known as one of the most revered waters in Portland. Take a boat ride and make your way up the gorgeous waterfall with your boat captain, where you can jump and watch the guide show you some of his moves from the cliff. Next, we take you to Frenchman's Cove Beach. Nestled at the outlet of a freshwater stream, the beach's white sand and turquoise waters have attracted visitors to Jamaica for decades. Luxuriate under a shade tree, take in the amazing view, cool off in the gentle surf, or go exploring up the river. Port Antonio is known for its untouched beauty, especially when it comes to its waterfalls. For example, Reach Falls with its amazing natural waterfalls and lush rainforest. It is peacefully situated amongst the exotic virgin rainforest of the John Crow Mountain. Enjoy an adventure hike or sit under the falls for a water massage. Also, don't forget to visit the famous rabbit hole. Once finished, we'll head over to Jamaica's most famous Boston Bay Beach and Jerk Center for an authentic Jamaican lunch. Boston Bay is known for its jerk chicken stands and could be considered the birthplace of jerk chicken. Enjoy a side dish of roast breadfruit and a well-seasoned smoked jerk chicken. Boston Bay is possibly the best place to sample all things jerked in Jamaica and is also home to the island's scrumptious jerk fest. We now journey over to the world-famous Blue Lagoon, originally known as the Blue Hole, with its untampered beauty and numerous shades of blue and green, from emerald, turquoise, and royal blue, which continually change as the sun, clouds, and moon dictate. The magnitude of green foliage and forestry surrounding the cove and the shops along the coast make it a resting site. You can take a relaxing, lazy rafting adventure on the Blue Lagoon or just take a dive in. As we complete our final stop over to the historical Rio Grande River rafting adventure, you'll meet your raft captain and get acquainted with him. He will pull you down the river while you relax and absorb the beauty and allure of the Portland Valley. You'll be enveloped in the lushness of the river valley, intermingled with its glory, the everyday life that relies on this river. Overall, explore Port Antonio. Enjoy Jamaica with Explorer Jamaica Tours. Before the countdown, we want to say special thanks to these subscribers for their comment that inspired us to create this video. The parish of Portland, located on the eastern side of Jamaica, is one of the most beautiful parishes on the island. Welcome to Jamaican Things, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 things you won't want to miss out on when you visit Portland. Before we indulge in Portland's natural beauty, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Number 10. Boston Bay Beach Boston Bay or Boston Beach is one of the most fun unique beaches in the Port Antonio area. A small cove nestled in between cliffs, it is the island's only surfable waters as you can rent surfboards or other water equipment as well as lessons available for surfing and snorkeling. Also on location are numerous jerk pits and bars. Number 9. The Blue Mountains the Blue Mountains form the longest mountain range along the eastern edge of Jamaica and features majestic scenery. 
Many people hike or bike through the mountains to witness first-hand nature at its finest. The mountain is home to quaint villages and the locals that live in the mountains are very friendly. Number 8. The Rio Grande The beautiful parish of Portland is the home of the Rio Grande. The river got its name when the Spanish occupied Jamaica in the 15th and 16th centuries. It is one of the largest rivers in Jamaica, measuring 3,034 kilometers, and was named Big River by the Spanish. Today, rafting on the Rio Grande is one of the most popular attractions in Port Antonio. Number 7. Folly Mansion On the peninsula past Folly Oval, five minutes drive east of Port Antonio is the Folly Mansion. The mansion was built in 1905 by a retired mining engineer, Alfred Mitchell. The mansion was a grand structure in its heyday, comprising 60 rooms spread over two floors. The mansion has since fallen into a state of abandonment, crumbled to the ground with time and is now somewhat vandalized. This has not stopped it from becoming an alluring destination, attracting many sightseers, photographers and models for fashion shoots and director shooting music videos. Number 6. Errol Flynn Marina Hollywood idol Errol Flynn arrived in Portland in 1946 when his yacht, Zaka, washed ashore in bad weather. Flynn fell in love with the area and made Port Antonio his playground and home. In his autobiography, My Wicked Wicked Ways, he described Port Antonio as, quote, more beautiful than any woman he's ever seen. This world-class marina is named after him, one of Portland's most famous residents. It was built in 2002 by the Port Authority of Jamaica and offers world-class facilities. There is also a helicopter landing area that can accommodate up to four helicopters. Number 5. Fairy Hill Beach Fairy Hill Beach, aka Winifred Beach, gives visitors to Jamaica the chance to experience an uncrowded beach location. Located near Port Antonio, Fairy Hill Beach can be reached by a steep road that deters many tourists. The waters off the beach are clean and calm, which makes it perfect for snorkeling. Number 4. Boston Jerk Center About 8 miles east of Port Antonio on the Boston Beach is the Boston Jerk Center, home of authentic Jamaican jerk. It is a mall of eateries focusing around jerk cooking with seven jerk pits smoking mainly chicken or pork seasoned and prepared with authentic Jamaican spices. What brings most people to this destination is the famous Boston Jerk Festival which is usually held during the summers where various chefs and cooks compete and showcase their knowledge and skill in the art of jerk. Number 3. Reach Falls Reach Falls in Portland, Jamaica is one of the most amazing natural waterfalls that the island has to offer. It is peacefully situated amongst exotic virgin rainforests located on the eastern end of Jamaica. It is approximately an hour and a half drive from Ocho Rios. The water is cool, refreshing and crystal clear and you will see species of plants here that you won't see anywhere else in the world. Number 2. The Blue Lagoon the Blue Lagoon is 7 miles east of Port Antonio, surrounded by steep hillsides and dense green vegetation. Some claim it to be bottomless, but experts proclaim it to be about 200 feet at its deepest point. The waters that launched Brooke Shields' movie career are by far one of the most beautiful spots in Port Antonio. Number 1. Frenchman's Cove Frenchman's Cove is one of the most beautiful beaches in Jamaica. Nestled at the outlet of a freshwater stream, the beach's white sand and turquoise waters have attracted visitors to Portland for decades. Luxuriate under a shade tree, take in the amazing view, cool off in the gentle surf or go exploring up the river. One fun fact to know is that the beach was featured in the 2010 action film Night and Day with Tom Cruise and Cameron Diaz. So next time you visit Portland, be sure to check out Frenchman's Cove.
The story behind Rose Hall is one filled with intrigue, mystery, murder, and ghosts. With an 18th century plantation house as the setting, the legend of the White Witch of Rose Hall lives on. Hi, my name is Beverly Gordon, and I welcome you to Montego Bay, and more so to Rose Hall Great House. Rose Hall Great House is a Georgian mansion. It has the legend of Annie Palmer, the White Witch of Rose Hall, a slave owner, a mistress who owned over 2,000 slaves and 6,600 acres of land. Annie Palmer was the wife to John Palmer, owner of Rose Hall Plantation. John Palmer and two subsequent husbands died suspiciously while married to Annie. Yes. And you notice the room is all red because she had a passionate nature for blood. She was well known for taking male slaves for pleasure and often murdering them. As a mistress of voodoo, Annie terrorized the plantation with its practice. Killed by her own slaves, a special grave was prepared away from the great house. Here she could be entombed to keep her from rising again. According to legend, the slaves failed to complete the ritual properly and the white witch is said to roam the great house to this day. But of course, that's only legend. Call your travel agent or visit WestJetVacations.com. Ha, 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 ha.